Do you feel stressed out and eccentric? If so, this video is for you, because today we're going to be talking about eccentric loading of beams. Most people don't realize that if you take a beam and you're loading it, and you load it off-center, you will have it rotate and it will be much less stiff than if you were pulling on it in just tension alone. This is really important for precision machines and we'll walk through how you actually calculate this. So I will start with my favorite beam. My favorite beam happens to be a rectangle today. Sometimes it's a circle. It is built into a wall. That's a fixed constraint. It has a length. It has a height. It has a width. And we'll start out by loading it with a force in tension, F10. So we know that the force, you know, force divided by K tension is going to equal a delta in tension. The beam's going to get longer. And that stiffness, K tension, is equal to EA over L which in this case is E W H over L. Pretty easy. However, if we put that force, let's make it exaggerated, at a distance, big delta, what's gonna happen now? Well, that force times big delta is gonna make a torque. That torque divided by K torsion, K theta of the beam, is gonna make an angle. Basically, the beam is gonna be sad, theta. And then what happens is that theta times that delta is gonna make a little delta theta equals theta times delta. Basically, we're rotating is propagating that motion. Overall, what's gonna happen is the delta total of the entire deformation of the beam is delta tension plus delta theta. So you could say, hey, for the same force, it's moving more. Or you could say, you know, k total is going down because it's actually a combination of the stiffness of tension and torsion. Let's go through that in more detail. So, K tension equals EWH over L, and therefore, delta tension is equal to FL over EWH, and honestly, with high modulus materials, this is pretty small. So now let's go into uh, the torque is equal to F times delta, the K theta, is equal to, wait for it, E times I over L, okay? And for this beam, we're bending out a plane this way, I equals one over 12 WH cubed, you know and love it. So practically putting this through, we're gonna get a theta out of this, and this K theta is equal to torque over theta. So theta equals um, torque over k theta equals force times big delta over L E, the I shows up, W H cubed, the 12 goes up top, and that is big theta, the angle rotation to get the little delta theta, delta theta equals 12 F big delta squared L over E W H cubed. Notice there's a lot more power showing up here. Okay, so delta total, is equal to, putting this all together, FL over EWH. See how it's all linear, because the tension is linear, that makes us happy. 12 F delta squared L over EWH cubed. Okay, uh, we noticed some terms we can combine. So pull out a FL over EWH. You'll notice that that is very similar to the tension stiffness, which it is, times a one plus 12 delta squared over h squared. We just took out the, the wh from the wh cubed and we're left with a h squared. Cool, so what's going on here? We've basically said that delta total equals force divided by k tension, because that um, L over ewh term, that's just k tension, times a new term, this new term is one plus 12 delta over h quantity squared. This is the eccentricity that is killing our stiffness. The other way to look at it is K total is equal to K tension, which is high, divided by one plus 12 big delta over H squared. That is the term that's killing us. Let's look at this. So let's say delta over H equals one over 100. You have a really well aligned beam. So one over 100 squared turns into one over 10,000 times 12. That's gonna be 12 over 10,000 which basically means your stiffness is one over 1.00012. It's basically good enough. Sorry, I made a mistake there. It's one over 1.0012. 1 
it's off by less than 0.1%. Cool. Now let's go delta over h equals 1 over 10. You're still trying pretty hard here, but you're, you're struggling. So now we basically end up with k tension divided by 1 plus 0.12. Oh, our stiffness just went down by 12%. You're going to notice that if you're designing a precision machine. Now let's go cray cray delta over h equals 1. That is pure eccentricity. You have your fixed beam and you're actually loading it on the edge. And you might think, oh, this is not a big deal, but actually it is going to be catastrophic because that term at the bottom is now K tension divided by 1 plus 12 times 1 squared equals 1 13th of your original stiffness. So if you're not careful and you move your force application point from the center to the edge, your stiffness drops by a factor of 13. That will ruin your day. This is Precision Stuff. Thank you very much. Have a good day.